friends and welcome back to your own channel that is we are in techno world and in today's video we are just going to discuss the newton raphson method okay so in case of newton raphson method we are having one formula that is already written over here that is x3 minus f of x3 divided by f dash x3 what do you mean by f dash x3 that means the differentiation of this x3 okay the differentiation of x3 that means in case of this we just need one equation and uh, like we just need one other thing that is f dash x means the differentiation of this equation okay so the differentiation of this is 2x plus 1 right now the other thing which we need is like what that is like uh, in case of newton raphson method we would find out the mean first of all okay the mean we would find out so it would be x3 equals to x1 plus x2 upon 2 okay so it would be 1 plus 2 upon 2 so it would be 1.5 Okay, it would be 1.5. So, in case of formula, we are having the formula that is x3 minus f of x3. That means, this is the first thing which we need. And the another thing which we need is fx3. So, you just put this f of, like, you just put this 1.5 into the equation. So, what we would get? By putting it into the formula, or into the given equation we would get minus 1.25 okay now uh, the another thing according to formula which we need is f dash x3 means we have to put the value of x3 into the differentiation equation into the differentiation equation that is 2 into 1.5 plus 1 that means we would get positive 4. Now we have all the things which we need to put it into the formula. Okay, so what is the value which we are getting? So value 1 would be, value 1 would be 1.5 minus f of x3 minus 1.25 divided by 4, divided by Four. So, what we would get? If we just try to solve it out, then we would get one value that is 1.8125. Okay. So, in case of iteration number 1, in iteration number 1, we are getting the one value that is 1.8125. Okay. Now, what you do? You just try to find out the value for another iteration. The value for another iteration. Because this was for iteration number 1. Now for iteration number 2. Okay. So f of 3 is what? We are having the value that is f of 3. So the value now, this time the value would be 1.8125. Okay. This time the x3 is 1.8125 okay now the another thing which we need is f of x3 means f of 1.8125 okay and the other thing which we need is f dash 1.8125 so the equation for f of x is 1.8125 square plus 1.8125 minus minus 5 okay now just try to solve it out what we would get in case of this 1.8125 square plus 1.8125 minus 5 so we would get 0. 0.09 76 0 0.0976 okay so this is the value of f of x now the value for f dash x means if we would just put the value for
or iteration number one, uh, like one point eight one two five into it. So we would get just uh, like the f dash x was two into one point eight one two five plus one plus one. That means the value would be four point six two five. Okay. And after that, we are having all the values. This is one. This is two. This is three. Okay. So just put it into the formula. So the formula was one point eight one two five minus minus f of x three. <coughs> that is zero point zero nine seven six divided by. Four point six two five. Okay, now just try to solve it out with the help of calculator. Okay, and the value which you would get this would be the uh, like root for the second iteration. Okay, so this time we would get the value that is one point seven nine one three nine four. So just like that, in case of another iteration, we would get the similar value just like this, one point seven nine. But the another points would be difficult, like would be uh, different, right? So uh, in case of Newton-Raphson method, in minimum iteration, we would get our approximate truth, right? So this is the value for iteration number two. This was for iteration number one, and in case of iteration number two, we are having the root that is one point seven nine one three nine four, and up to three decimal places, up to three decimal places, we have to find out the approximate root. That means, that means we have to uh, like. It read our equation till then we would get three similar decimal places over here, right? Means, ah, uh, like in an next iteration, for example, you are getting one point seven nine two zero something. Okay, that means we are getting only two decimal places, two similar decimal places, and according to question, we just need three decimal similar places. Okay, so that means in the next iteration, we are just getting one point seven nine one seven something. For example, you just assume it. Okay, that means we could stop now, right? Because our three decimal places are similar now. Okay, so uh, like what do you do? I I have told you that how to find out iteration number one, how to find out the approximate root for iteration number two. Just like that, you just try to solve it out for another next iteration. Okay, so after that, as soon as you would reach till the range. Then you just stop it and write down your final root over there. Okay, so till then, do practice of it. Thank you. Thank you.